Welcome back for our American hero. So many women dream of feeling like a princess on their wedding day. Sometimes that perfect dress is expensive. Uh, one bride decided to help other ladies with their dress. Uh, a kind gesture sparking a chain reaction of women wanting to donate their wedding dresses. Now a group on Facebook called Shared Dream Dresses has more than 3,000 followers or members. All gowns are donated and dry cleaned from the previous owner and then passed from one beautiful bride to the next. And founder Gwendolyn Stolgis is joining us from Boardman, Ohio. First of all, I heard this story. One of our producers, Ken, mentioned it. And I just said, I absolutely love this. We have to have her on the show. Uh, very Aww. generous. Very, very generous and kind and thoughtful. But a lot of people want to keep their wedding dress as a memento. So what made you decide to want to donate it? Um, thanks for having me, by the way. Um, it's, it's definitely just not something that I wanted to keep. I, I, I just felt like it needed to be used in more than just one time when you spend so much money on something like that. I definitely didn't want to put it in the closet. I didn't want to put it in a box. So I just felt like I wanted to help another person. And this Facebook group, Share Dream Dresses, I just went online, you guys have 3.6 thousand members. Uh, yes. What do you have to do to be a part of this group? Um, you just simply need to um, go on there and um, add yourself as a member. There are some questions that we like, and some rules that you have to accept. Um, and then you could just, um, anybody can go on there. I have people going on there just to look and see the kindness and or donate a dress or looking for one. So it's just a very simple thing and you just have to approve yourself with the rules and things. But how do you find the perfect dress? I think that part of the journey in finding that dress is going to a bridal shop. It can be very stressful or it can be very fateful. Um, and yes. you have your mom or your best friend go with you and you can't necessarily try on a dress from your site on, or can you? Maybe you guys link up with people who live in the area? Um, well, yeah, there, if you do have the, that can, that capability, yes, um, we have a lot of people all over the United States, um, so it is kind of hard. Um, there are people who shipping dresses and they don't fit and then they'll repost them and so forth. So, you know, it's just a trial and error, basically. Um, we are working on like if you put your measurements on there, so hopefully it narrows it down a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it is. It's. It seems to be working so far, and um, there's just a lot of great support on the, in the group. Well, I'm, I'm going on your page just because I want to give people watching uh, a sense of yes. what you'll find here. And as someone named Donna posting, uh, I'm looking for a size 26 wedding gown for wedding in fall of 2023. If anyone has anything this size, please let me know. And then there's another person who commented, same. So they're the same size and they're both looking for the same uh, similar situation. Then we have yes. a woman who posts, I have a seven-year-old Vera Wang wedding dress, originally $7,000 size four free. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, um, it's become real special for me. Um, so, you know, I went from um, having only five people who wanted to donate dresses after I donated mine. And now we have hundreds. So um, it's just it's growing rapidly and um, it makes me feel really good every day. Well, just you've, watching the kindness. You've, you've made it a lot less stressful for a lot of brides who want to save a buck and what a gift to give. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.